there's also another conversion that needs to take place to operate magnetic materials. Mm -hmm. Where we remove this copper ring here. Yeah. Uh, and also remove this center stack of magnets. There's a stack of three magnets in each hole, stack of three magnets. We just need to remove the center stack. Then we have, we'll have a big open hole here, so we use a, uh, an iron slug and put that into the hole. And that just reconfigures the, the flux field um, to yeah. be more appropriate for your magnetic material sitting in front. Nice. If you were to try to just put a magnetic material on this configuration, uh, it might not work at all. You might not even be able to light the material. Or if you do, you might the flux intersection might be in the wrong place. So, like with this target that's got some wear on it, you know, that's where the flux lines are intersecting, right, in that, that divot. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was a magnetic target and you were able to actually get plasma, um, you know, the, that flux intersection might be out here somewhere and you ended up just sputtering the clamping ring as opposed to your target material. So that's why we have to do this conversion to the magnetic field. How is the field there? So, sorry? The field. The how field. is it? Um, well, how do you mean? I mean, the intersection's right about here. It is. So it's coming out and then going in? Oh, yeah. So every so this is a reverse polarity in the center uh -huh. facing out. It doesn't matter you know, which, which is north, which is south, as long as they're opposite of each other. Mm -hmm. There's a whole piece in the back. Um, yeah, and they're yeah coming like this, mm -hmm. with the intersection being right there. Um, these are the spec is 3.7 to 4.2 kilogauss on each stack here, and this one's like 5.3 kilogauss. And how about the uh, the ion beam beam? How, 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 what is the, the trajectory? So the ions are getting trapped along. So they are coming from the filament, I suppose. They're coming from uh, the argon gas. The argon gas. So the when you uh, apply uh, you know, DC or RF here, you know those uh, electrons that are coming up the cathode now bump into the argon gas and uh, ionize it, knock an electron off the uh -huh. argon gas and strikes so the target. Now that is ionized, it, it gets accelerated. You know, by the magnetic field and by the potential that's here as well. Mm -hmm. It gets pulled right in.